the new millionaires in town. the next millionaire yeah. 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 a group of people i believe ni angels wakiwa kwale pare kwa kwa kwa, kwa gate ni kama walikuwa nataka kuingia huku nikaomba wanakuja tena nikaomba nakuja tena nikauliza who are this ndio oh, yeah. mtakatifu akaninenea hizi ni baraka zimebebwa oh, yeah. zinataka kuleta kwa kanisa la bwana nikiomba oh, yeah. so the last three days nimekuwa nikiwaambia welcome welcome oh, yeah. welcome oh, yeah. welcome na ninaamini ni wewe unaletoa hiyo baraka kwa hivyo amen You are the next millionaire. Amen. Shamba na bigaza the next millionaire. Shamba na bigaza the next millionaire.
Sunday kwa sababu umetukumbuka. Yes. Sunday kwa siku hii jema ya uponyaji. Yes. Siku hii jema ya uokovu. Oh, yes. Siku hii jema ya nguvu zako na uwezo wako. Yes. Kwa kukaribisha mahali hapa. Yes. Our life will never be the same again. Yes. Yes. Thank you our Father and our Lord. Yes. Yes. You are worthy of King of Glory. Yes. Yes. Jesus. In Jesus name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 You may be seated. God bless you. God bless you. Let's get settled. Amen. 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 God bless you. Set set God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation Sunday. Amen. 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 Salvation Sunday. Amen. 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 Siku ya Jumapili ya wokovu. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nataka kila mtu awe settled. Amen. Amen. Njega uliza wagoi vile nilisema. Wagoi uh, yule mdogo. Ulize vile nilisema. So God bless you. Hallelujah. Mungu wabaliki. We are happy for this Sunday. Tunafurahia kwa sababu ya hiju mapili. Because of what God has done. Kwa sababu ya vinyo mungu wa metutendea. It's a good, good day. Hallelujah. Amen. Eh, nilisema mpatiwe viti mkaya hapa zile zitatoshea huku ziongeze. Add more seats here, add other seats there. Amen. God will bless you. Amen. Si mnanjua hapa uweke line, sitaki kuogea online nisikike kama mtu wabaya ana mpango. Amen. Fuata mama Koina line moja na hao wengine wapatiwe hapa. Amen. So Amen. we are happy because God has done it. Tunafurahia kwamba Mungu ametutendea. He has blessed us. Tubaliki. He has been with us. Na amekuwa pamoja nasi. And we thank him for everything. Na tunamshukuru kwa kila kitu. Welcome to the house of God. Umekaribishwa katika nyumba la Bwana. We welcome all the visitors. Tunawakaribisha nyote wageni. For what they have uh, for they are here today. Kwa sababu mko hapa siku ya leo. And we bless the Lord for them. Na tunabariki Mungu kwa sababu yenu. Hallelujah. Amen. Today is the Jaza Sunday. Jaza Church Sunday. Amen. Siku ya leo ni siku ya kujaza kanisa Jumatano. Hallelujah. Amen. Me I brief yeye anaamini. That's why I do actions. Ndio maana anafanya matendo. I believe that An, today. Anaamini ya kwamba siku ya leo. We are winning souls for Jesus. Eh tunashinda mioyo ama tunavuta mioyo. We are winning souls for Jesus. Amen. Tunashinda mioyo kwa Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Jesus is our Lord. Kwa sababu Yesu ndiye Mungu wetu. That's why we are winning souls. Ndio sababu tunashinda hii mioyo. I'm happy because of what God has done in Ana my life. kwa yale Mungu ametenda kwa maisha yake. He has yake. worked with me so many times. Kwa maana ametembea naye siku mingi. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And he has been such a wonderful God. Na amekuwa Mungu mwaminifu We welcome all the people from the boarding school. Tunawakaribisha nyinyi nyote kutoka wa shule ya kulala. We thank God for you are here. Tunawashukuru kwa sababu Mungu hapa. We appreciate you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When we are, we see our children who are back. Tunapoona watoto wetu wamerudi tena. We thank the Lord so much. Tunashukuru Muumba sana. For what he has done. Kwa vyenye amewatendea. Hallelujah. Amen. We appreciate the Lord so much. Tunashukuru Mungu sana. For what he has done. Kwa vyenye ama yenye ametutendea. So today is a soul winning Sunday. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in Matthew 1. Na maandiko inatuambia kutoka Mathayo 1. Verse 21. Matthew 1 verse 21. Mathayo 1:21. And he shall bring forth the son and you shall call him his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Naye atamzaa mwana hmm. nawe utamuita jina lake Yesu maana yeye ndiye atakaye waokoa watu wake na dhambi zao. Hallelujah. Amen. Mary was to bring for the son. Mary alikuwa amzae mtoto. And the Bible says na maandiko yanatuambia the son will not be a, a, an MCA. Na huyu mwana hatakuwa mwana MCA. And the son shall not be a, a, a governor. Na huyu hatakuwa governor. The son shall not be a, a Uh, shall not be a, a, a president na huyu mwana hatakuwa president but the son shall be a savior lakini huyu mwana hatakuwa mwana muokovu that is why he is called jesus ndio sababu huyu aitwa yesu and why is he called jesus na kwa sababu gani huyu aitwa yesu because he shall save his people kwa sababu ataokoa watu wake from their sins kutoka kwa dhambi zao hallelujah amen he shall save his people ataokoa watu wake from their sins kutoka kwa dhambi zao that's the meaning of the word jesus sasa hiyo ndio maanisha ya 
Yes. You shall call his name Jesus. Utamuita jina lake Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. For he shall save his people. Kwa sababu atakuja kuokoa watu wake from their sins. Kutoka kwa dhambi zao. So Jesus came to save us. Kwa hivyo Yesu akaja kutuokoa. Jesus came to save us. Yesu akaja kutuokoa yeah. sisi. Kaeni hapo. Amen. Kaeni hapo mnisikize mkiwa hapo. Amen. Today is a salvation Sunday. Tukiendelea kujikaeni hapo. Amen. God bless you my daughters. Amen. He shall save his people. Ataokoa watu wake. Many people are coming. Watu wengi watakuja. Hallelujah. That's why tunajipanga. Ndio sababu tunajipanga. Oh, kanisa imejaa dani so we are doing an offer for now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So me am a man of faith. Oh, yeah, yeah, ni muto. Hallelujah. Amen. And when I tell you this will happen, Na believe me. Na hii kitu itatendeka muamini. Before I see it, before I say it, I have seen it. Kabla haja isema, ameyona. He shall save his people. Kwa sababu watakuja kuwa kwa watu wake. From their sins. Kutoka kwa dhambi zao. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 15. Timothy wa kwanza mstali wa kwanza mstali wa kwanza. Mlango wa kwanza mstari wa 15. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to settle so that I can preach. Amen. <laughs> First Timothy anza kuhubiri. Amen. This is faithful saying. Amen. And worthy of acceptance that Jesus Christ came into this world to save sinners of whom I am a chief. Eh? Amen. Uhoro ni guwa gutikirika na 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 ni guwa do you know who Amen. is a chief? Unajua chief ni nani? Hallelujah. Amen. Enda ugoge mtoto wa nibu ujue chief ni nani? Amen. Chief. <laughs> a chief is a big man. A chief ni mtu mkubwa. A chief is a man who, who has authority. Na chief ni mtu wako na mamlaka. But Paul is saying. Lakini Paul yu asema. I am a chief sinner. Mimi ni chief lakini mimi mwenye dhambi. I am not an ordinary sinner. Mimi si mtu mwenye dhambi wa kawaida. I'm not a, a small sinner. Mimi si mwenye dhambi mdogo. I am a chief. Mimi ni chief. I have a territory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I have people behind me. Mimi niko na watu nyuma yangu. I have small sinners. Mimi niko na watu wadogo wangu wenye dhambi. But Jesus came. Lakini Yesu akaja. This is a faithful saying. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is something which should be accepted by everybody. Hii ni kitu inafaa kukubalika na kila mtu. That Jesus Christ came. Ati ya kwamba Yesu Kristo akaja to save sinners. Akaokoe wenye dhambi. The reason why Jesus came in this world. Sababu yenye ilifanya Yesu akakuja duniani to save sinners. Ni kuokoa wenye dhambi. And I am one of them and mimi ni moja wa wenye dhambi. And I am a chief sinner. Na bado mimi ni chief mwenye dhambi. Hallelujah. Amen. Mimi ni mkubwa wa wenye dhambi. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwa hivyo kuna masifu mama ehia. Oh, amen. Kwa hivyo kuna chief wa dhambi. Kuna wakubwa wa dhambi. Ni kule adu anene ame ehia. Wewe unajua unasema ngati unajua kutukana na kuna mtu anajua kutukana na watu. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Anakuogeresha ukikura chakula inakuwa maji. Amen. <laughs> Anakuogeresha hivyo tu mzee ukikura hapo. Ako ndio dhabu dhaguma giate ata tango bego soki. Ndora ari kiego soki dhagumia. Amen. Imagine mtu akikuuliza hivyo. Huja <clears throat> you have not. <laughs> Chief. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Jesus is here today. Kwa hivyo Yesu yuko hapa siku ya leo. We have so many things today. Tuko na mambo mengi sana siku ya leo. I'm praying for the sick. Amen. Anaombea wagonjwa. I'm praying for our children who are going back to school. Anaombea wale watoto wanarudi shuleni. On Friday I could feel the presence of angels here. Amen. Na uh, Friday angelisikia uwepo wa malaika hapa. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't ask me how I, I felt it. Usimulize vyenye alisikia. How do you feel when you are hungry? That's well, how I feel the angels. Unasikia aje ukiwa na jaa hivyo ndivyo nasikia. The Bible says when you are trained in spiritual things you know how to sense. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I know there is something the angels have brought today. Kwa hivyo najua ya kwamba kuna kitu malaika wameleta siku ya leo. We have another program in the afternoon also. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I was preaching 
this morning there. And I was preaching Luke 19, where Jesus told uh, Lazarus, Zacchaeus, come down. Amen. Hallelujah. I have, Jesus said, I came to seek and save which was lost. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So this is my second service. Amen. But for a few minutes, I need to take some water. Amen. I want my our mom to come and say something. <laughs> and Doug will be there. He will be Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that after that, we, I finish, we go. Hallelujah. Amen. And today is a t-shirt day. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the power is here also. Amen. <laughs> so we welcome our mom. <laughs> he has come with my coffee. Amen. Amen. So if you want your, your, your babe to be this way, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, praise be to God. Amen. I want to present a number. When to be, uh, I wanted to present it later, but I feel I should present it now. Amen. I thank God for everything. Kwa kila I thought I would present it as I continue, but I thank God uh, I feel let me present it now together. Amen. <laughs> Fire! 
Itaita Forasa Shandele Nesbele Na Barabasi Oh yes If you feel like standing and worshiping the sun Oh yes Oh yes Jesus Oh yes 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 Testimony in Jesus' mighty name, we do pray and believe. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I received a message from one of us. She is not here today. Akapokea ujumbe kutoka kwa mmoja wetu hayuko hapa siku ya leo. Mom, I'm so down. Akamwambia mom, mimi niko chini sana. My husband have been cheating on me. Mzee wangu amekuwa kinidanganya. And when I want 
to look after uh, to to see what is going on na alipoenda nilipoenda kuangalia nini kinaendelea i have found there is an, a woman in that house nikapata kwamba kuna mama ama mwanamke mwingine alikuwa i'm so down i don't know what to do kwa hivyo mimi niko chini sana sijui nikafanya nini i'm just telling you i'm just down mimi nikakuambia kwamba niko chini and mama i want to go there and take my husband back na sasa nataka kwenda pale na nikamrudishie mume wangu and i told her my daughter na akamwambia mwana wangu our battles we are fighting on our knees ile battle zetu vita zetu tunapigana kwa don't go to fight with a woman usiende kujipigania just enquire the name amen we will fight that battle on our knees na hiyo vita tunapigana kwa magoti so let all the enemies of our marriages know we are on war na wata and we are waging war amen and mama i am a woman and mama. i have the pain of my women so whatever You are to stop the marriages of my people. Amen. Or you go to the grave. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the war I set this morning. Sasa hiyo ndio vita yenye natumana siku leo. And you know she gave me the message when I'm preaching about the gospel I'm preaching about hiyo hiyo I mean hallelujah. Amen. 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 to stand still and to celebrate God. Amen. In our lives. Usimame kidete na umsherekee Mungu kwa maisha yetu. And so church of God I charge you there is a God who fight our battles. Na kanisa la Bwana nawaambia kwamba kuna Mungu yuapigania watu wake. Stand still. Amen. Simama imara. Stand still. Usimame imara. Relax. Amen. Our Sunday school tell us when they are presenting we are presenting this and this sit down and relax. Amen. So today I'm preaching about sit down and relax. Siku ya leo naubili kukaa chini na kutulia. Because there is a God in heaven who fight our battles. Kwa sababu kuna Mungu aliye mbinguni anapiga vita zetu. And there is a God who hear prayers. Na kuna Mungu yasikia maombi. And he answers. Na anajibu. Amen. Amen. I know there's something that will happen here great. Anajua kuna kitu kubwa inaenda kufanyika hapa sasa. Servant of God have said yes pray for the sick and I want to add him a mantle there is a lot he is doing today Amen. so many things is happening Kuna here mengi so ya I know yao. servant of God will pray for us Kwa hivyo, on this outer whenever we know there is something big the enemy usually near hiyo kaga Amen. hallelujah Amen. Uri ade kanione goma ngi hariria guka. Ndiye nyamefanya asubuhi hii akijitayarisha kufanya. Dio majero, dio majero wa Brian. Amen. No father ya gome holete. <laughs> no da kwera getwa kuma ke undu kiria goma jikania. <laughs> na just guess that him na daveka. So you can imagine and uh, hallelujah. Amen. Na eh, immediately getwa kwigwera agoma we ru daririkana. Ah. We always have something that grows around when on this outer when something powerful is coming kuna, to happen. Kuna kitu inapitanga katikati wakati ile kitu kubwa inakuja kufanyika. And I thank God I'm that person who don't mind what I'm wearing when I'm coming to serve. Na nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu yeye si wale wanaangalia ni nini anakuja anaenda kuvaa. Because if I am one of them I could have been frustrated this morning. Kwa, zibu, kwa sababu kama ninge angekuwa wengine angekuwa chini sana. But it's not about dressing it's not about anything. Lakini si mambo na mavazi It's about the anointing of God. Lakini ni upakuwa Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. Usijali. <laughs> Sahidi unatoka bedding like this. Amen. You are raising up. Amen. Amen. Mm. Usioni e koroga manono gwathia akumireire. There is power here. Amen. When she be entering here. Amen. Hey, it will be a different thing. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. I say Karibuni sana wageni wetu. Anakaribisha sana wageni wetu. Today we have so many visitors. Siku ya leo tuko na wageni wengi. Because it's a special Sunday our level to this ni Sunday ya Jaza Church. Kwa sababu ni Jumapili ya kujaza kanisa. He requested us to welcome you people of God. Alituliza tu karibisha watu wengi And katika. And here you are. Na hapa tu. So I know we have so many new faces. Kwa hiyo anajua kuna watu wageni. So that simple man you have seen here Amen. is our reverend. Amen. Huyo mmemwona huyo ndiye reverend wetu. He is the prophet of this church. Yeye ndiye nabii wetu. Anointed man of God. Na ni mtu ametiliwa mafuta na Mungu. Once in a while he give us a chance to to just to give the word of God. Wakati mwingine anatupea ruhusa tuendeleze. And today he is serving in our church in Igegania afternoon. Na, na siku ya leo jioni ataenda Igegania. So he requested me to assist him today. Kwa hivyo akamwambia amsaidie kidogo. So you are highly welcome our visitors. Lakini wageni wetu mekaribishwa sana. Kwa ishara ya mkono. Amen. Kama hujawahi kuwa na sisi, this is your first time. We just want to appreciate you. Raise your hand. 
kama ni mara yako ya kwanza kuingia katika pure gospel believers church uko nilitalia kutore waingira guko lege ginya ko uja ko uja kulia dumaro ya muoko na iguru let us appreciate god for our visitors hallelujah uh, na leve duge siriati ni, ni ageni maihuli ni wenyeji ni adu waku yeah, there are so many hata kama tuko na visitors but watu wako and we praise the name of the lord Amen. that we have overflow Amen. i thank god for my daughters there stand still simama imala relax na utulie in the lord katika bwana stand still usimame wima and relax na utulie in the lord kwa mungu if you want to say rest in the lord is all right ukitaka kusema pumzika kwa mungu ni sawa today i want to speak to that person who have been praying on this altar you are a member of this church or you are not a member of this church but you have been praying to god and there's that thing that you see it has delayed and you are not you, I, i mean you are confused have god have da- had it we let happen or not i want to speak to that person leo ananenea mtu ambaye amekuwa akiomba na anaona kama hajatimiziwa amen 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 i want to speak to that person who is like it is just by the grace of god that you are still breathing there is god anataka kuongea na mtu mwenye ati ni kwa neema tu ya mungu bado una Na huyo mungu. Yes, I Amen. want to speak to that person but that is by the grace of God that you are still faithful in your service to God. You are still faithful in your offering. You are still faithful in your tithe because I mean what the Bible says about those who tithe and what has happened to your life is opposite. Amen. But by the grace of God you are still faithful. Anaonena kwa mtu ambaye umekuwa mwaminifu sana kwa fungu la kumi na kwa kumtumikia bwana lakini unaona mambo yako haiendelezi. I want to speak to that person who believe that when you pray and fast Mungu hufanya mambo. But kuna hii kitu umeobea, umefuga, ume, ume plant seed, umefanya everything lakini bado iko hapo inakuagalia. Amen. And you are like have God had it or not? Unashindwa Mungu amelisikia ama hajalisikia? That's the person I'm speaking. Sasa huyo ndio mtu ananena juu yake. I want to speak to that person amekuwa kwa hii huduma mm-hmm. for 10 9 years, 8 years, 7 years, 6 years, 5 years, 4 years, 3 years, those who joined us soon and still there's something that you are trusting God to do. Anataka ku, ku, kunena na wale watu wamekaa kwa muda mrefu na bado Siku ya leo naamini Mungu. And I still want to kuogea na yule ataoba. Amen. Ku, kwa sababu kuna wale watajoin, kuna wale kuna mashida hujui and zingine unajua zingine zitakuja mm-hmm. na and you got to pray. I want to speak to you in advance. Amen. What will happen to you mm-hmm. and what you should expect. Amen. Ni nini unafaa kujua mm. na nini unafaa kufanya na nini unafaa kuwa umejitayarisha. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Edwin are you there? Umefika. Edwin. Kuna kijana wangu I was waiting. Edwin, are you there? Bado hajafika? Okay. Sir uh, Susan. Sister to Regina. Are you there? Susan. Oh, you are the one. God bless you my sister. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want you to learn when you inform God something from now immediately you inform him when you pray about it and you do everything and the issue just start there relax start still and relax, relax and wait now for God response Anakuambia ukimjulisha Mungu neno lolote na uone kama jesikia tuliza na ubodea Mungu And I want to usher you today Amen in the season of celebration. Amen. Kuna msimu wa kusherekea. So I want you come up from that cocoon of is God doing it? Where is this thing taking me? And you enter in the mission or you enter to the season of celebration. Anataka utoke pale kwa kujiuliza niko na Mungu lakini uingie katika hali ya kusherekea. And I thank God for the visitors who have come today because you have come to the time when we are, we are talking about this altar. Let me tell you church of God, we are in the season of celebration. Katika ima dhabahu tuko katika hali ya kushereke. We are nine years old. Tuko mea katisa. And we are by God's grace, we have entered our season of celebration. Na kwa neema ya mungu tumeingia katika musimu wa kushereke. It's just a coincidence that 
that we are entering December which is a month of celebration. Ya kwamba tunaingia tu December kwa sababu ni mwezi wa kusherekea. I mean it's just a coincidence ni vile tunaingia hiyo mwaka na bado in our church we are in the season of celebration. Amen ni katika hata katika hii madhabahu tuko katika ile Kwa mambo toto tolete tu hoile kigogona giki. Na mambo tumekuwa tukiombea katika hii madhabahu. And I'm telling you it's not by faith I'm not faith is uh, I'm, I'm not faithing I wanted to say that. It's not that I'm a praying faith <laughs> or I'm trusting God. <laughs> I'm telling you what is there. Ni kwambia hajakwambia uamini lakini anakuambia ile kitu iko. There things we have been praying and God is doing it Kuna now. Kuna mambo tumekuwa tukioma na Mungu yuafanye. So sasa. I want you come out from that this that the is tormenting you and he don't want you to realize and to come in and join us in this celebration Anat- season anataka utoke katika ile hali na uingie katika hali ya kusherekea many of the times i have told you that uh, like two months i've been coming on this altar when i'm praying when i want to pray with god for something i am filled with the spirit of celebrating and thanking god amekuwa kinenewa na roho ya kusherekea na kumshukuru mungu you remember when i told you that god commanded in this church we are in the season of bringing us giving Amen. not a season of crying and Amen. asking for things Amen. and god said i have done so many things on this altar i want you come back to me and give me that na mungu akasema nimewatendea mambo mengi sana lakini sasa nataka mkuje na shukulani so that person who is still fasting and praying asking for something you are in the wrong direction can you retreat can you change the direction and join we are in celebration season kwa hivyo wale wamekuwa katika hali ya kuomba mbadilike sasa muingie katika hali ya kusherekea last last day but one that's the iliopita bill is repeated i am almost finished to preach because i have told you what i'm saying Amen. and all that after that i'll just give you the reference you go and read uh, so i'm started finishing Amen. hallelujah Amen. last that's the not this one here again those who are here mm-hmm. They know what happened. Wanajua vyenye kilitendeka. Amen. Amen. Not this one the other one. The Holy Spirit visited us. Roho Mtakatifu alitembea when we were finishing. Wakati alikuwa akimalizia. But it came I mean it started when the Reverend was preaching. Lakini ilianza wakati pastor alikuwa anahubiri. You could feel uh, there is something different here. Unasikia kuna kitu tofauti. And he was speaking a very simple sermon. Na alikuwa anahubiri kitu rahisi sana. He was teaching us about Samson. Alikuwa anawafunza kuhusu Samson. The some things Samson went through. Ati kuna vitu Samson alipitia. And we have been taught how each and everything how he was fighting those battles. Na alikuwa anaambiwa kila vita alipokuwa kienda. Na tuelewa haya kinya hado Samson yake heo hinya ginya yake hota kohoda kohod 300 foxes. Amen. Na akapewa nguvu ya kushika but when he was in that place the bible was saying the spirit of god came in a mighty way akasikia ya kwamba amefika mahali amefinyika sana lakini alipokuwa pahali pale roho mtakatifu akamshukia tukisoka tukiro hage akaigua adiago ikinya akaruweyo akaheyo hinya akaruweyo hage kinya alikuwa anaenda kila step kila step anapiganiwa lakini katika mahali akasikia akasikia ya kwamba anataka kukunywa maji sasa hiyo ndio ile ujumbe kwa hivyo ili kwamba kuja kuomba roho mtakatifu aka all of us in a different way kila mtu kwa jia tofauti i remember we broke the protocol amen hallelujah amen. because commonly when servant of god is praying and he take a song we are supposed now to uh, to go side and see but that time it was uncontrollable a- amen haikuwa ina kontroliwa vizuri i remember when we went to the house anakumbuka ya kwamba walipoingia kwa nyumba my son reminded me about it mtoto wake akamkumbusha kwa sababu and nilimwangalia vibaya juu now he was bringing a case he was reporting something now nitabeba mizigo ya hao wote mm-hmm. and uh, he said mom unajua nyinyi wa mama muliendelea na maobi imagine sasa hiyo nasema babako hapo muliendelea na maobi mpaka reverend that time anaitwa reverend unaona reverend alishindwa ataigilia wapi and we were like tuliangalia na hivi na reverend <laughs> hatukuogea that son alikuwa tu hao watoto these kids mnaonaga hapa imagine and anasema wa mama tunaitwa wa mama mpaka mimi i'm telling you daddy was there wa mama mulieta mulieta at reverend alishidwa ataigiria wapi and i was like you are reporting me we misbehaved <laughs> 
Wala zango Levet alinichekerea tu in such a situation ananichekerea tu. I remember the other time uh, there's something I had prophesied and I wrote it on FB and it came to pass. I was so excited and I, I, when I was in the kitchen nikaambia referent unaona ile kitu nilikwambia ona imekuja and my son was like ah mom hiyo mambo yote na anointing umetoa kwa baba. So I nikasikia referent amecheka ameteka nikashindwa anacheka jiwa vile nimesema mama ni akanya Reverend called me, mom, could you see? Abu Beni, you remember? You know now he is feeling the man, and I was like, I told them, I have no battle. It is true. Niri nyenye kia, and I tapped with no war. Amen. Vana sifu. These children, you Amen. see them here. Ah, um, Hallelujah. Amen. Here we talk our happy. So we are in short. We are saying. What made these women to break the protocol and what happened on that Thursday because of what is happening on this altar? Vinye ilifanyika hawa mama wafuje sheria ni kwa sababu ya yale yanatendeka. Now me when I, what was happening on my side? Vinye ilikuwa inatendeka kwa pamoja. Because kila mtu alikuwa na yake na hatujaogea nao nijue kwa nini uli break the protocol kutaniambia. Kutaniambia. Me what was happening? Ile ilikuwa inatendeka kwake. I was praying to God. He he power this spirit we have been told about Samson that there is a mighty spirit that came and took over. I was telling God, I want you to release that mighty spirit and I'm telling you I so I had the voice I was here Amen. I was brought this out yale hilo ekegusio ekerehwa maitho ine and I was stopped get was stop praying for that mighty spirit Amen. it is already here uache kuombea hiyo nguvu tayari iko hapa so me I, I was overjoyed that I don't need to pray about it Quite. and the voice continued and said the prayers that have been prayed here this altar is already fertile amen Bwana asifiwe. Amen. And so si kuomba tena about the mighty power. Si kuomba tena because God already was saying the the spirit of God is already on this altar. Amen. So church of God we are in celebration. Is katika tuko katika hali ya kusherekea. For the visitors si kawaida ati mhubiri akiwa ama mam aki akianza kuomba ati washirika wanaendelea na maombi. It is what is happening on this altar. Ni vyenye inatendeka katika hii madhabahu. You know, the other time I told you that water have broken bank ni unaona mai makahora roe makahora magaiterera that's where we are sasa hapo ndipo tulipo and so oria we kudekete oria we na kieha do you have more here kie hai ni moi great celebration mood ni anataka utoke katika hali hiyo uingie katika hali ya kuselekea forget forget that thing that is disturbing you usahau ile kitu inakusumbua one thing i'll tell you just inform god then start still relax kitu moja nitakwambia muongee kwa Mungu na tena mgoje. Nigeza lele, utige kuhigereria kuingira in celebration because of that small thing that is tormenting you. Yo usije ukafungiliwa katika hii hali yetu kwa sababu ya hiyo kitu kidogo. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And this message is for born again. Na hii ujumbe ni ya wenye wameokoka. So that person is not about born again. I I I beseech you. I plead with you come to Jesus and hear what people enjoy when they are in salvation. Mwenye hajaokoka angemwambia akuje kwa wokovu ndio ajue ni nini wale. Those who are not born again like I told you it's not that we don't have diseases. Mwenye hawajaokoka si ya kwamba ati hatuna. It's not that we don't have challenges. Si ati ya kwamba tuna changamoto but we we pray and we we have that we have that hope we are strengthened you amen. know we are given the joy of the lord amen tunapewa nguvu na furaha ya mungu hallelujah amen by the way that was a good introduction from the man of god amen eh? few are well introduced eh? mm -hmm. but you know he's a loving husband so i have to be submissive amen and i was feeling like saying And because he's a loving husband, I want the spirit of loving to this man. All the men who are in this house, you you be impacted with that spirit of loving your wives. Amen. When you love your wives, they will be able to submit to you well. Amen. The Bible says husbands are meant to love their wives and as wives, we are supposed to sub not to love. Amen. Not to do not to hotaga gweka atia. Kwenyihia. Mtu waga kunye da dio ye kaja yone kwenyihia kana diagereirwo. Reverend ni yagotwira hau dimenyaga. No odo wenda ko ukitaka kunyenyekewa vizuri. Eh? Baba John, bring all the raf. Bring that roro pop. Wacha kusema ni utoto. Ile watu tikira hiyo maundo maingi. Roro pop emwe rosio goka na igiri. So the laugh is being added. Amen. 
nawe mai bafu no kongererwa magi no no It, it, it's as simple as that. And that's how we operate in my house. Amen. You are able to submit. He, he, as he told you, it's not an easy journey. This man you see here. He's that man who believes. A woman should not sleep in their mother's house more than two days. That is, his, that is him. Amen. And for 20 good years, I'm telling you, I've never and just to be submissive and I have no issues about that Amen. this man you see here <laughs> this man you see here he said I will not sleep in his house and that is the man I obey Amen. and whenever I am out I'm telling you the truth yes. I have to write an apology before because if I don't write my you don't need to talk he has the other eyes the eyes of a husband <laughs> yes so yes so I write a message if I'll be late I tell him Baba, I'll be late kidogo. Nifanyi ya hii na hii. Si ya te kuassume. I have to, I'll be late. And most of the time, I make sure. Nareka ide mwere. Gora kwa na maae, dale kia gwere waka baba. Wego tuka. Because, you know, hii kitu ya kushida ukioba musama. Na omati hoa yaga muono. Ate mati heta hii. Au. Wuhu. Au. Kai wa fideli Gai ni mwega Gai watu mia mwaza ni alongo so I thank God I was born a woman Gai Temuti heta gia Gai ni mwega So that's how we live anyway I love that Start still and relax in the Lord Amen Ugoje I was just telling you about uh, how we live the way he said and it is true and we live like that. Amen. And uh, I don't feel forced it it should be like that. We are in the celebration season. Now when I was praying in this church we are celebrating I was like what is it? And karebokariaka uh, because I'm feeling we are celebrating but what is this show me what is this are we celebrating as a church amen. amen but surely for those who have been with us for many years there is a change in the church just look behind amen. and see what God have done amen. look outside amen. and see what of God have done for so many years we have been we have been desiring to have an overflow we have been desiring the church to be full amen I don't, there's so many from so many years intercessors and prison worship team can uh, uh, bear me witness mm -hmm. the prayer one of the biggest prayer item was about the increase in church and consistency you know kulikuwa time wanakuja hawa hii sade hiyo igine niwe gine hivo hivo na tukua tunaobea consistency tuwe na washirika wetu have gone done it so we are in the season of celebration many a times we had only one man I think Baba and Baba Goge and Martin and we were praying for men in the house do we have men in the house there is a time we were asking for children from the villagers. So the few children who are coming in church, we were telling them, make sure you come with a child from your ata kama mama yao hakujagi how wa prot ukuje now. We were looking for Sunday school for my teacher. My Sunday school teacher can tell you. Amefunza watoto wegi hawajui mama wao ni nani wanakuja tu wanaeda. Today, we don't need outsiders. Have gone daddy. Gai itunia tuweke ile? Yes. We are in the season of celebration in this altar. Amen. So I want you to open your spiritual eyes. There is this woman, ma, you know we forget. We know we forget so much. There is Mama Deborah. Amen. Wife to Kanye. Mm -hmm. 
they were experiencing miscarriages one after another. Amen. God blessed with them with a daughter, uh, Deborah. And now God had blessed them with another daughter. And there was no issues of that pregnancy. I could say sometimes there is miscarriage on the way and she was not knowing. I could pray for her. We could pray with Reverend and that pregnancy emerged and now there is a child. Of somebody who was doing miscarriages one after another, there was no issues. He went, she went, she called me, mom, I don't have pains and the date have come and I, I, I text the, the intercessors. I told them, let's pray. In the evening, I want that child. Within two hours, the child was out. Amen. Is this not God? It's God. What else do you want to see? There is a testimony here. And today I'm preaching with you, my dear. So, what else do you want to see? Stand up. What else? We are in celebration season. This is powerful. Amen. 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 This woman has fought battles. Amen. Oyo mama amepigana vita. This is a miracle walking. Amen. And you tell me we are not in celebration season. For those who don't know the case. How can you have a daughter who is sick? And being admitted in Kenyatta. And the doctors are like there is no disease. They are just saying go and talk to your daughter. And he needs some depression. Amen. And that time the daughter is admitted in the hospital. He has a jack. He can see that to get a pale medical. He can see that to get a situ. Is okay. The daughter went to edit in Kenyatta. Now, so sir, my doctor was coming to my show. Actually, they were your daughter. The daughter from hospital cabra her time. They said there is nothing we can do. My doctor was saying, "I have no kid to do anything." And the daughter was brought home when the doctors have said there is nothing we can do about your daughter. Hakuna kitu tunaweza fanyia mtoto wako. This is the only daughter. Sasa na huyo ndio mwana wa pekee. And the doctors have said there is nothing we cannot we can do. Amen. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. And even before we go to tell God thank you for the daughter coming out from the hospital. Kabla hatujaenda kushukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kutoa mtana wake kwa hospitali. Kadura makanini kao dofani modo akahegwa ni kahiga na kogoroko kaunika. Amen. Na watu ekane yagothie theater. Amen. And so you see like what is all this? Unajiuliza ni nini hii yote? And uh, she start walking with the two stick. Amen. Akaanza kutembea na mbili. This woman have walked a journey. Huyo mama ametembea safari. Like a gubure wangu thoni taduru gaini yake hii geti. Amen. There are people who are praying for you. Kuna watu walikuwa na kuombea. No mahe hado haki njileto kiora niya. Ha ha le u. Gaini ya liye. Kuna mahali ulifika wakasema hapa wacha tumungoje mungu. And I remember I'm telling me mom let us start with the faith of mama mudhoni now. Amen. Like a turuga mena weteki wa nina wa mudhoni leo. Taudari odua tekite. Kwa sababu hakuna kitu wa jafanya. Ya hadire begu. Amen. Ame panda begu. Ni ya fasti ni ya tayo ilo neko fasti. Ame fasti na hafai ku fasti. Alikuwa wa diabetes. I believe now she is not for that. Amen. So onona modu wa diabetes She is forced to pray and fast Because of the way things are Amen Bwana sifiwe Amen Na joke de muburire Oyo arwale te corona murio na kego kuna kahona Amen Oyo Ura ona ha ha Hallelujah Amen Modu wa diabetes Ni ya vile vile ta ena moro walu yoba Na nengu mwato ura kago wake Na dakwele ali na oyo rona Tika ikuwe makithi yogo Nwade mwado wa bradi wale na corona Do wa menjire neyo Eko mama Dennis Hiyo ilikuwa corona that one was corona. Who could not to have got Jack a corona? When I say, Matty, ma'am, did I go all okay or rugally? At a key home, a key home, a tarazida. When you hear those signs, here people, Murigo Jack a corona, and you are still here. Amen. Hey, oh, what to a corona to come in and a tocahona. Amen. One as if you mean. And uh, that time, ya keri kuwa baya tato gorogi nyane ya huraga. She went to hospital. Dagitare magetigira komu ubolera. Amen. Because they know her situation. Amen. Musa kia muge, we are not in the celebration mood. No, muna sema. With kipo, all those situations, our dear woman here survived Amen. corona. Amen. And here she is walking. Amen. Gayaragiri ya areyezi goko ena mete. Amen. Let us celebrate this God.
And by the way, Mama Mudoni, I admire you are God. Amen. Anatamani mungu wako. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oya geaji ya koalia. Ginya afternoon. Amen. Toti gire ikia. Amen. Sit down for now before I tell you to start up again. Amen. You are walking testimony. Amen. When you should hold down. How on earth? How can you raise a million when mm. people are saying there is no money? Munaiza toa de millioni moja na watu wana. And you tell me there is no celebration in this altar. Na wana tuambia hakuna kushirikia katika ima da ba. For the visitors, we have been having an event. We don't call the politicians. We don't call any people. Just these people. If we baru wazetu, we have raised a million. Na tutira kubera modo. Tando kumalo si toa di. Amen. A million, and we have started another million. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Listen to these people of God. Come out. Tomo haka demo do mere made ko. Masi demo do mere temo no. Igwa isikizeni vile the spirit is talking. Amen. Bwana sifiwe. The current word, what the spirit is saying, not what is here. The current what is here, and it's combined with the word. I thank God for everything. Amen. Many times, and I thank God, Reverend, have repeated today. She have been, he have been saying there are angels. He he comes to pray and he fight angels. I'm telling you, there are those angels. And from today, Okonyo ignoraga. Whenever whichever word is uttered here, Okoyaga, you run away with it. During Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, when you are praying and fasting, Okoyaga, you see what your motto got to be around here. The end of it, you are going to go. Amen. You are my man. You are my man. You are my man. You are my man. He is my husband. Amen. But when he is here on the altar, I take each and everything. Hemo then you are the horror of magego. Joking it. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It was like a joke at magego. I can't. It Ndutetu wata ora nini de edete nini de dagaruo nini doko jira te nyumereri e nini nerezi e ruto nini juga gati siwa na semaga kuhani ya kigea kwenye wakati ya kumunyo ne nini de unegu hana le ugole to so I feel na ma ame kurutuo and if I hear it from my mom my mom wali tole wazote akona zigine so nini kuwa naona na sasa niko karibu but when the servant I always tell him the house how he go out diyo haroa magego and I said Whatever, whether he was joking or not, ma kwa matika arutoleki. Amen. Nada kwele horo oki horera. Amen. Oki horera. So when you hear a word, take it seriously, personalize it. Doka igwete ya doasi yoge mara igwete. Oya nege ya ku, obo kena keyo, na odhye uge dreda gai, ogu okoere wogo tuweke. Ukisikia neno lolote di metadio na muhumbiri, uchukue. Kani wamo the kium ya geke waino kodhyo, ogu wamo tumio suye konege na geku gaga hau. Dreda kwa experience, ogu wala iga wye in celebration. I want to enter to that, uge gai, ne dreda li wunani ye. Hey. You cannot get sad, Amen. You know I can offer pouring of joy. Amen. One day, sometimes Reverend have been prophesying about people who want to be blessed with money. Wakati mepita Reverend alikuwa na ubiri kuzo watu abalikiwe na pesa. Na katuabia wale wanataka kujeni ni waobe. Na kitoera alimale da pesa. One of the person came. Namtumoja akaja. Among the others who came. Katikati yawe nywa likuja. He she was prayed for. Atayeya. Na nimoto ta guess idiri ya. Na nimoto hawezi fikiri. But I think last week she surprised us. Lakini wiki leo pita akawa. Ake hore la refere di dimo. Akapigia awa refere di dimo. Refere di ali mahoya ini. Refere di ali kuwa. Ake hore la. Akampigia. Ake juli kai babe kudela mahoya di mo daroya. Akamuliza kwa ni baba kwa api nampigia sim. Ake juli ani ora hamenya no. Akamuliza unajua ni na. Kwa radhi na hamenya di na di moegi. Akamambia. Ati kani kuhere na ni akana niguo. Amen. No le wogi. Nani atuli romo na iguadi na mo menya tano wago kutene. No di ori aguadi tedi ali na di moyaki. Amen. She was so excited, Mom. God have done it. God have done it. They na bi italadira. Kijeri ya kumoki jira ne si ga na italadira. Amen. Na wai gua no orari ya. Ni haria makora wahari ya duda matia diyo kano mozi yaku. Matia lagi ya ado menya kani mara igua re orai gale mo kona kamaso ga. No igua. God have done it. What has He done it? What has He done? I have money. Na na uha hebi adrede tado. She told me I was one. Hey, go refer to me. Two mere. 
God have done it. And I want to give my money for this. Amen. I have so excited. She was so excited. Amen. Why Okay, you want a Maroko guy in your kid. Amen. Now, Katuma immediately, and then I can't wait in the Aquera, get the other Fredi Canalia, he go to the Quagai Manaki, I go to the dark Toma. Then the day the Kora here is here to kill it with it. Ah, hey, are you Kakaja, Mamu, Gaini or Kiragoko? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, to Tampia Makofi Wakati, because in the Alisema Zaken is a December. Already, the guest of honor have said, Oh, well, to do your two, brother, dear Tokuru, yet to root a guy near Kira. Because she believed, she came. So when you hear prophecy, you Amen. just believe. Amen. Run with it and say it is me. Amen. Because we are in the city. You come to the season and we celebrate this God. I'm almost finishing. Pesa. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And let me tell you. As God said, one day I told you that when we go to our rad, mm -hmm. go on your climax of the breakout of the celebration. Amen. There are so many things that God is doing to us. Kuna mambo mengi sana mungu ya and so, Nehemiah 8, mm -hmm. Nehemiah 9, verse 10. Nehemiah 8, verse 10. I say, why you are the other mamba de code? Because I've already told you what we are. That's the message I heard today. Somebody came to my office and told me about a vision she had. And one of it was that I saw Jesus. And there are some things they talked with Jesus. I told her, You are anointed. You are blessed. I won't cheat you. Me, I have never seen Jesus in a vision or a dream. Amen. I'm Ye, telling you. Ye, Ye, when you are a man, mm -hmm. I have never. And this one thing, this I have never seen. This is a member telling me, ma'am. I saw Jesus and we talked with him. Amen. And I was like, God, you are doing great things. And I told Leverett about it. Mm -hmm. Somebody else, Mugini, I can't go to office. I can't pay your daughter. Mom, I don't know how to do it. Already, here, daughter, I can't go to the office. I interpreted for her there and there. The Spirit of God helped me. I can't go to the office. Already, there is a breakout. There is already harvest. Amen. Because I don't know what to do watu wakikuja, sijui wakikula, wakicheka walikuwa na furahamigi mm -hmm. and then they were being prayed by me I was not there, Alfred was not there lakini aliona Pastor Kaifa and Pastor Agnes Amen. he was the one who was praying for them what does that tell you? That is again, as we are not there Amen. so there is already harvest mm -hmm. na tumewachia na wanaobea watu this is, you know, this is the church, the season of harvesting. Nehemiah 8 verse 10. Mm -hmm. And so then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweat, the sweet, and send portion unto them, for whom nothing is prepared for. This day is holy unto this day. I want to underline that. This day is holy unto our Lord. Mm -hmm. Neither be ye sorry. Can you give me another verse on a simple one? Not for ye and another version. That you tell me that uh, do not grieve. Good. Do not. Very good. Thank you, my son. Then he said to them, Go and eat what is rich. Yes. Drink what is sweet. And send portion to those who have nothing prepared. Since today is holy to our Lord. Do not grieve. Because your strength comes from the Lord, rejoicing in the Lord. Kiswahili natuwabia aji. Kisha akamuambia enendeni zenu mule kilicho nona. Mothie mwole ya kire ya keno rufio. Na mkunye kilicho kitano. Mosoke mwenye kire ya kesa mufio. Mwole ya piyo na mwenye fio. Tena mpelekeni sehemu 
yeye asiye kwa nao matare mu matwarire tadonga ye komuranga ginya mugiye na extra mu matwarire maana siku hii ni takatifu kando mudenya wao mothe it's a holy day kwa bwana wetu kwa gai wito wala musihuzunike kwa gwa mudenya oyo wa holiness goti mudenya wa korera kwa kuwa furaha ya bwana ni nguvu zenu tadonga kendo ke ya gai neguwa hinya wanyu amen mwatha ni arogoso amen Today to declare today is a holy day. Hivi anataka kusema siku ya leo ni siku iliyotakatifu. Entering to the celebration season. Ya kuingia katika msimu wa kusherekea. So I want you come out from that mood of grieving. Kwa hivyo anataka utoe katika ile hali ya kusherekea. Wewe hela how spirit ni ya kuisokia. Katika ile hali ya kujangalia. Wewe hela Gai no agoka. Ile hali ya kujangalia Mungu atakuja. Wewe utiga kuisiria uria Wacha kufikiria venye daktari alivyosema. Mwana ni arogoso. Tano ripoti mwasi ya daktari na oroga me goro hau othie mosari hau hau. Kwa sababu ripoti zingine za daktari zinaweza kufanya kufa. You cancel them. Amen. Ukatiana kumenye ole daktari arauga. Unasema mimi sitaki kujua venye daktari wasema. Mwana ni arogoso. Amen. Mwana da heo mwana wako wa wabe. Mimi nikipewa mtoto wangu wa kwanza. Maugire kana kau walisema muangalie sana huyo mwana amen huyu ni mwana you might kene. never get another child yes, but who is god lakini mungu naye ni nani he gave me a daughter akampea mtoto because god is not like man kwa sababu mungu sio kama mwana so today nani. is a holy day kwa hivyo siku ya leo ni siku takatifu of converting you from that 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 grieving mood ya kujitoa katika ile hali ya kudungudika na uingie katika hali ya kusherekea is a holy day. Kwa sababu hii ni siku iliyotakatifu. Yes, there are problems to grieve. Ni kwa ukweli kuna challenges. Kuna mashangamoto. But the strength, hallelujah, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Lakini furaha ya Mungu ni nguvu zetu. Ye cannot ya guy. Amen. Omothe I want to release the spirit of joy of the Lord. Amen. Nataka kuashiria furaha ya Mungu. Mwana ni arogoso. Amen. Ye cannot Ime furaha imezidi. Yeye noge goto madu muoneka wewe abnomo. Yaani furaha ya kwamba unaonekana wewe kama si mtu kawaida. Yeye no mudhuri agoka nyue ti yake inagara wewe bwa kiara yore ya kwenda. No gakona gikeno kingi ugokira no gathi ukamurugira no konda na tiga kindu no kamuongeenda kwihuniririe hunuririe. Amen. That joy. Sasa hiyo furaha. No mwenda kumurugira matumbi alite nyamo muongere ya ari ya protein siyo. Mayai akiwa amepea nyamo. Because you are not bothered. Kwa sababu wewe. I want to release that joy. Anataka kuachilia ile furaha. Kama mtango kedirika na hiyo horo wa bri. Bridge ni? Eh eh kuna vile leve ni bridge. Juga leve ya mta bridge ngari kwa kinya shing level ni aingerire. Gona sare aya no dira. Kama ta bridge e busi mama. Why are you not reminding me the, the recent miracle? Amen. Mujisa wa hivi karibu. Somebody who was not talking. Kuna mtu hakuwa na mtu hakuwa na. Somebody the demon said he said she will not continue with this school. Mtu abaye mapepo alikuwa amesema hataendelea na shule yake. Somebody who came when he was whispering. Amen. Akioka kihoro ni dugata ya Ngai. Amen. Mugabo agetumuka. Amen. Sauti katoka. Hallelujah. Amen. Kama laki gano ni atumia ari marokire refer ni makohoreire ringi tiga thimu iria. Kuna wale walikuja wa they called on made mwanage thie thuku kamurakiriganirwa ni maundu masio na saona ile mambo you are in season of celebration tuko katika hali ya kusherekea so gomeno la ora turoka hai wata dwara iga tore in the set we have more do ahio kero kaiwa keruo keima hau gekayoka hai no turatona na muhuji ole mutumia ole ndo hai guru hakinya ni mutumia wacho kihetia ugi ndo opposite no ole akurathi she is no longer a servant of god mutumia Mudhuri da hele da da koragwa na thina utiko mukaiga mudhuri ucio ni ndimwe imuno wa faith no mutumia hawe mudwa igwa kiruo kiho tell the devil eh ne guo ni ndiraigwa no mutungateri arauga atiriri today is a holy day mutumisha nasema siku ya leo ni siku takatifu araigwa wona ro na ciana ni irokire mid term na marero no muhaka mudu athina school fees othe na ni ndire kindu Tell the devil behind me I am in celebration mood. Mimi niko katika hali ya kusherekea. Hemo hemo ndo dinamenya no urathie kina magirira. Riu ari gwatiriri. No guo. Tell the devil eh mutungateri araiga ni celebration mood. Kogo doka nyina mireire guthie ndugamite. Amen. Mwatha ni arogoso. Amen. Enta ndo ndo ari amathia go guo ndona mwale waitha itwa githi. Ni mwa ni andu as 95 years ena mukwaju. Tatuma arathie hakuhikuhutia thi. No le 
ke gwere nege tha mwe tekio na nye ne jara gerio osi ato kere kia save si eno aigere ogo kwe ego kero guo na moti gwe tekia more than ya rogo so that we are in the celebration mood and today is a holy day so the joy of the Lord is my strength let the joy of God be your portion. Amen. 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 This is now abnormality. This is somebody with the joy of the Lord. She is doing something extravagant. And this is the spirit I want to be with today. Spirit is the spirit that you just knock it out and say it will be well. Amen. Bwana sifiwe. Amen. Today is a holy day. Siku ya leo ni siku ile utakatifu. Kwa wewe uhinyere hiyo. Wewe mudhuru waku ni anywi. Leo una dola menya kana tukanagia turungi na soro na ndo kai wendo kana no joy. Na dhuria mwe ni akoro kuta tu. Ukenyua ga joy madha masio mothe. Kai wewe uwo tukare kadereria nako. Today is a holy day. Tell that come behind me. Me I'm celebrating my God. Amen. 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 Praise be to God. Amen. Barena ti akoa ni akumwa Thosi akoa ni menyage kwegai wemoyo Hodo wange ni nae ikera ine shiothe Uhota ni timadha itabara ni a Jehovah Hau hathu za muadara ini Uhota ni timadara ita Bara ni a Jehovah Amen Neguwa jeri leka ili etu kauga akoa Ushindi siyo that was today in the morning but let me tell you. Like in what you he vita to those who are the wives, the husband are cheating. Amen. On your knees. Oko doko ya dago no, mix him, mix him on your knees. Say everything. Cancel. Ata kama ako pregnant. Itoe kwa maobi ni mekupe ruhusa. Na kama ata nyinyi muna daganywa. Inye ne mohe. Atumia, atumia, atumia. Do women cheat on men? Mamudia, kiu ni wakira. Kuzi hamuju wagi. There is a bad spirit of revenge. Let me be open to you. Amen. Some women, you know, I serve many people even there. The FB, they don't know me. And so, na unajua na pedaga kuchesa chesa na mimi hivu edu wanaga hau. Kwa sababu, they like telling somebody who they don't know face to face. Amen. So, she can say, anything. So, so many of them tell me, ma'am, what do I do? I went outside. Why did you go outside? Why did he go? Nilisikia uchugu nikasikia. Ile kujiripisha na zajiripisha. Onanye no vile na modogi. Kwa kwa dhuri ya mego kumadhi ya nadua. Genoti ya dhuri ya piwa na ya adere. Na nyinyi waoni laini. Unajifanya te unajua sana. 
wa mama tumeelevuka tunakuambia tunaenda kwa mama tunaenda kamwelezo it's happening they are revenging with that Amen. but the women of integrity they are fighting their battles on their knees Amen. wanapigana vita zao kwa magoti hallelujah Amen. there was a time when i was not a woman of integrity i was also fighting with my own but today Kuna i wakati. know my battles are hmm. fighting them on my knees Kuna wakati alikuwa anapigana vita za kimwili lakini siku hizi yapigana za magoti na and i won't lie i will tell you kama hmm. kunaye anasubua familia yako mwanamke come and tell me I'll show you how you pray. I'll be there. Amen. Na makwa die dagai thako, niko mwira aitho tigale na kukano thie kuria gutasoka gu. Amen. No ni ndo watu wanato wake tukahoya ngai. Tu kwanza tunaobaga. Jerry. Mtu wa kwanza anaobaga, wacha kuomba ati akufe, muobe awe na husband. Akipata husband yake hata kusubua. That's the way. So kwanza tunamuobea. Lakini tukiona anacheza cheza juu ya watoto wale yako nao they are innocent that's why we don't like them die but there's a god we serve sometimes we cry with the bitterness and our god revenge for us and the way he revenge we don't judge we don't ask today we are in the celebration mood amen. so all the other things on our knees and we celebrate this god amen hallelujah amen. so today is a holy day kwa hivyo siku ya leo ni siku iliyotangazwa psalm that 7 verse 7 amen And you write those who are writing you can also write Psalms 46 verse 10 they are together Psalms that 7 verse 7 tunazishikanisha sasa tunaendelea tukimaliza Today the key word is a holy day and we are changing from grieving crying um, enter to celebration mood irrespective of the charges that are there Uingie katika hali ya kusherekea hata kama kuna mashangamoto Psalms that 7 verse 7 be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him Hallelujah Amen Saburi 37 mstari wa saba ukae kimya mbele za Bwana mm. nawe mgojee kwa subiri Us, mkasirikie yeye anaye anafaniki Wachana na hao mm-hmm. basi watu timu aiguage na wili tumenya gasi yao na osia mafefeini Psalms 46 verse 10 Amen Be still and know that I am God I will be exalted among the nations I will be exalted in the earth The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Ati acheni mjue ya kuwa mimi ni Mungu nitakuzwa katika mataifa. Nitakuzwa katika nchi. Bwana wa majeshi yu pamoja nasi. Mungu ya Yakobo, Mungu wa Yakobo ni ngome yetu. Ukimaliza kuambia Mungu about that thing you have been praying for. Mm. Wale kwa kweli agai, maudu masi mothe ukale to kihoya. Na Be still. Na tena usimame wino. Sasa uachane na mambo mingi. Leo utikana na maudo mingi. You be still. Usimame. You mzuri. relax. Amen, utulie. And you wait for God to answer. Na mgoje Mungu akakujibu. Ukiendelea kuteta. Uona wadhi na bena u complain. Ta ule mwende tumuhoyagira ka uno mwaka wako ni ni dareheru. Ka guku. Ta uli rahuje tu agukire umuthi. Yep. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Studying still studying still we kara Okay I was saying Emwe moto ke moga na ya do moto na tawaka tawaka ero hot ugoka tukahoera kaudo haha ugacoka igwa tikaiga ni ukangora office mamu kiria gi utumite joke hau bere ni giki ngakuria to ringi ni nani ta odi mamu anyu manga kohoya na ngako hakama guta no ri uri umuthe denda gukwira ukiobewa So when you come again it's like you are not believing it have happened. Amen. So the minute you have been prayed for be believing Amen. it have happened and now relax because when you keep on talking about it it's like the devil knows you now na haamini haijafanyika bwana asifiwe. Amen. So ukimu ukimwambia don't complain don't mama and then the devil dey huaga ukiobea huyo mtoto wako umuobe ume pray and fast usimfuate na maneno giki ona dui ka nikiigua kihano ithio na nikio daimire gwa ithi now you have prayed then you follow with a curses mm-hmm. so it's that you are not believing whatever you have prayed amen. so when you pray unanyamaza sasa unaachia mungu hayo igine amen and that's how you survive in the salvation mm-hmm. hey don't you mona ndo magetha kamoka igande kukena waigua gero demu norua tene nyama nie kujaria dena 
Ni kwenda mudo raga muno tando. The minute they are stress ni ni guo mwere niye wakwa. That's how I am. Ni wata kuna oe. Oh, Maha muno okulia no okulia. He go stress ili ya dena siyo. Na hodi hago ni stress ni mudhuri. Na hodi hago stress ni kanitha. Amen. You can imagine now all of you. I Almost all of you. You come you tell me this. Tell me this. I carry your burden so heavily. So some of them they give me stress and I. And I wonder God. Do it for her. Sometimes I carry your faith. Tado go na liwo yo. Na sa zigi na muna leta pre item na muna su muna tuachi atu mutu anaeda. Ha kuabi ni mamu hiyo ni metoka wacha kuiyo bear. Amen. Mamu na taka unyo bear biashara hi ifraudis. We unenda unafuga biashara na una 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 kaho na uni abi mi na bear biashara haiko. Matuma asirika. Mutukora wotuliega. Do you want to go to the Mosiri category? I just the reverend in the pastor. Come on, Mother, and all the other one Praise be to God. Amen. Studying that is the message. Ya wale ki akome ni ziya gai na wale ki maduro wokali la axiri wokamu etere la wato 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 wali ziori ya wote kwe dago ikana. Okay, mula. These are Philippians four verse four. Amen. Philippians four verse four verse seven. Philippians, Philippians, Philippians 4. A Philippi nya. Muhali wa nya. Ginya mu wa jora iga atea. Amen. Today is a holy day. Holy day, not for grieving, not for crying. Amen. So even the prayer items are changing today. Amen. Nobody will be prayed here because of a need. You are being prayed. You come out from that 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 kakun kwen kolera keke gire ko you went to celebration are we together amen that's why i told you there are things that will happen here god rejoices when he is given thanks when people are not complaining mm -hmm. rejoice in in the lord always i will say it again rejoice just interpret as we continue furahini katika bwana siku zote tena nasema furahini verse 5 let your graciousness be known to everyone. Amen. The road is near. Verse 6. Don't worry about anything but in everything through prayer. Can you underline through prayer? Underline prayer. Mm. Petition. Underline petition. Mm. With thanksgiving. Underline thanksgiving. Amen. Let your request be made to be known to God. Amen. Musijisubwe kwa neno lolote. Bali katika kila neno kwa kusali na kuomba. Pamoja na kushukuru. Verse 7, he says what? Before he go back to, do you hear? And the peace of God, that the peace of God which surpasses every human understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Let's go to verse 6 before I prophesy to you on that verse 7. Verse 6, don't worry about anything but in everything through prayer. Musijisubwe kwa neno lolote bali katika Kila neno kwa kusali. Oshio mothuri ora kogia mutu wale bere ya gai. Uyo mzee mwenye na kukukua kwa mwoto. Na mwogo ya tamare etu wa make mele. Amen. Na ginyale ya guka ole ya tuwe tuwa mwogo ete. Amen. Mwadhani ya rogo so. Amen. Wona la goseji ya interpret because of those who are not here in kikui. Amen. Wona la goseji ya. Akikosa kubadilika. You take petition. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Petition ne kugasira ni ora siri ruo. Noni ora igwile dono kawega. Oka osoki ya regi. Kesi me fanyo wa lakini unasikia bado haja kusevu. Unailulisha tena. Mwana one de moho wa hile muno. No de bado dali ya raseji ya. Oka zihega iregi oka mugwetera. Mtoto ni memuambea. Unaenda tena kwa mungu na muambia tena. Now with that giving. Kwa kushukuri. Haha neho deda mwenyiti yomuthi. Amen. Mwadha ni ya rogo osu. Amen. Toko hoya mwaduru wako aho noke. Sio kuomba tu mze wako wadi ya kaokoke. Be having something to thank God for. Na lazima ukue na kitu ya kumukuru mungu. I thank you God because you have given me a husband. Na kushukuru mungu kwa sababu ulinipea mze. It does not matter what kind of a husband is. Haijalishi uwe mze ni wainagani. But the fact remain you have a husband. Lakini hila inajalisha ni ya kuamba ukona mze. There are so many people here who desire to have a husband. Let me tell you. Kuna watu wengi wanatamani sana kuwa na wanaume. Amen. Amen. We have single man. Who desire to have a husband? Kuna wamama na tamani kuwa na waume. There are people who desire to have a husband. Kuna watu na tamani kuwa na waume. So you, that husband, oh, who had na? Na wewe mzee wako vye ni alivyo. Otete gai, oleoleta kumbe na haro wa mothuri osi ya wako. Kapla ujamuambia mungu vye ni onataka juu ya mzee wako. Okabo, kaya ne daso kia gado 
ni ndo wabu. Tutu kwanza unamwambia nimeshukuru kwa sababu ya zao wangu. Na ndio ndo wangu aje direre ya bere. Na nashukuru kwa sababu vyenye alinipenda kwanza. Na ndio ngosokeria gado gaitado donire asia gene dionire. Na nikakushukuru kwa sababu hakuona wengine akaniona. Ni ndio wewe gai keuone tere ya bere ni dereda okehodore. Na ndio useme ile alikuwa ameona ya kwanza na nataka ubadilishe. Wewe ndio kitu wa kwanza usije ukaanza na kunugunika kitu wa kwanza shukuru ile kitu ilikuwa imefanya anione nimekutoka ile upendo ukaibadilisha na usiaibike ukimwambia Mungu God thank you. Amen. Kila kitu ama kila jambo kuna kitu ya kumwambia Mungu asante. Higo itare mwana. Wakati hakuwa na mtoto. Mimi ndara Ngai ne gogosokeria gado. Alikuwa anamwambia Mungu mimi nitakushukuru. Sasa unaoni dawa ya gado yake botumia. Kwa sababu uliona vizuri ni kwema mama. Na dadi vitare ni dero over si yeho. Na nikienda hospitali naambiwa yangu ziko. Hakuna matube dena ho. Hali ya ndo matari. Amen. Dero no wendo na dena kindu ya gari ya mwana ya kuhe mwana ya kunywa. Ne kore ya ndo matari. Kuna getwa ni kansa ndoni yetelio intact lakini yeye ako na zote leo kaboka sokeria gai gadho sasa kitu kwanza unashukuru na nene yako sokeria gadho tao ndio hete mudhuri na pia nakushukuru kwa sababu unanibariki na mzee kwa sababu kama mudhuri digira hoya mwana kwa sababu kama singelikuwa na mzee singeliomba no you guy that had a perfect marriage yako lakini nataka usimamishe ndoa yango mwadhani ya rogos amen in everything there is something you have thank god for before you complain katika kila kitu ama katika kila hali una kitu ya kumshukuru mungu haleluya i told my sister when her daughter dhukuru yaone yahe ile na sisi mwana wake sunday school teacher mwana wake ido sikihia sio the na kihuri ya thimu ee down kimu ila my dear akamwambia Leke tu sokerie gai gado. Wacha tushukuru wa kwanza. Tautorario horo wa mwana we muoyo. Kwa sababu tunaongea kuhusu mtoto aliyehai. Kwesha na ila kuire ni miaki hiyo. Kuna watoto walikufa kwa sababu hizo watoto. Na ina dare supermarket one mwe agithie kugura muoyo si. Na haya mamake hana supermarket yoyote anaweza enda. No purity oku igira othoko. Lakini purity tutaenda kwa soko. Uoya masuka mareo kuoya. Ushukue zile. Weda mutuba, weda mwero. Ukitaka mutuba ama. Na kono weki horo ya kijana ni mamamu. Na akati. Ngoma alehaga no alehe alakurehera kiondo mwana ni araherirwo no ngoma dange kurehera message ilo raihire ya mwana uria wakuire nigetha wone uria ngai agwikite amen hawezi kuletea ujumbe ya ule mwenye alikufa kora kora githaka we muthuri usi waku na nigua nyuaga mama mama madikuga mayao ta imagine ugua nyuaga ma uwe kares matando na dagikagira mask na mani arahonokire corona amen Amen. Katika hile hali maybe alikuletea na umepona. You have a reason to thank God. Ukona kila kitu ya kumshukuru. Ukona kila kitu ya kumshukuru. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
waje kuri ona kafari ata ali muhono ku e muruwaru e muhonui ukirare uniki that's how this life is Sasa in Matthew maisha. we will not read it but just put it there mm. Matthew 634 Amen. each day it have its own trouble tamekele how my son Matthew 634 utaopa hiyo kitu ina kusubua utafajiwa but tomorrow mm -hmm. another problem comes and you start there Amen. each day it have its own troubles Therefore, don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow we'll worry. Tomorrow, so you don't get many of that. Each day has enough troubles of its own. Kira shi siku ikona shanga motozake. Any omo zenya kwa madina magu. So enter into celebration season. Mwingia katika hali ya kusherekea. Nigeza madhena maya moka. Na ndiyo hizi shinda zikikuja. Ona maya magi. Hata hizo zingine. Wati yodo woko ina inia. Hakuna kitu ita kutetemesha. Mama bodoni ya sida ya mwanai madhivi talele utoko kaka. Actually, imagine that day. Ime, iyo siku. Let me tell you the secret. Tudu unekio muga haa dira kama mamu noe kune iga kama udu. That day. Iyo siku. Alikuwa na hiyo ka accident. Ime. It was on Saturday. Iyo Saturday niyo. Alikuwa na new hair. Ime. Hai na ajwe lejero. Nekeza agesa wakaka ndai kolo ya sima. Ya sima. Na ya agule ito Saturday yo. Na maadhi yetena aga ofredi yomwe waki. Tawinuwa bali wada amenye ireko. Nihide mufuwa tagai. Na kiugare dali yoka kuinda. Dea kwa tako kolo na juwele goro ena smelo. Aya tita unu yago vigina ne kuindira agai. That was on Saturday. Immediately after buying that hair and saying how she will be beautiful. So that they come on Saturday we celebrate about her daughter coming from the hospital. Mati gana na mwale wa hithe wito. Hau neho ahegi. E kana neguwa. Nedira fasia. Agezie kwa igira negeza sasa ajitayarishe about tomorrow. Amen. Ake hee guwa. And that was there. Di juwele siyake. No wame kerele. So juwele siyake na do siyo the. That was there. And she was forced to stay in the house for three months. Amen. What am I telling you? Each day it has its own troubles. Kila siku iku na shanga moto zake. Ni dade kiyo ka message. My sister te. We pray for mama mudhoni. Dari giro wa gai mudhoni. Karu wala rigi. Nye, nyo na kwa iwane mamu, nina wamu dhoni yake gubole, nide igile, thank you God. Tote igile, aga wamu dhoni, nye kwa kafa wamu dhoni, wakila jiwe ne mudhoni. Because mudhoni was recovering, actually she was coming, we celebrate, and she give a testimony of how mudhoni is going on well. So when I had the message, we pray for mama mudhoni, I mean, I felt like, so... Then she continued, no, she did this. And I was like, okay, thank you. And now I started following. Nini ni alifanya? Unasikia hii ni kama video, ni kama drama. What is this now? Every day it has its own trouble. Troubles. Amen. Mama Purity, our Sunday school teacher, I told you. That day, together, so that she get the report of her daughter. Adidiabia, mom. Ebundi said, dear, ire, 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 ire video ya Bridget. Vilialifajwa. So, she was telling about other women. Amen. What the devil is doing to children in school. Little did she know tomorrow she will be talking about her old daughter. Amen. That is how this life is. And all they have no one amakua na marioka. It's only for those the joy. And that's why today we are releasing the joy of the Lord so that it become your strength. That on the morning, Samana, you need to go where at you receive, you receive a vehicle, you receive the so you came and receive a vehicle matuareku. This one they need to receive education and all that. Huh? So, but the joy of the road to strengthen you and the peace of God that Amen. at a human, you know, thy oh, oh. Hallelujah. Amen. We are concluding. Try the toy data up. Actually, I'm concluding. But with some verses, you write them. Second Corinthians 7, 9. I pray, the, the, other, the other grace that Reverend is releasing is uh, the grace of God. You know this one. Second Corinthians 7, 9. Fire orohe muigua heiro. Amen. Akera, akeria kohoya. Akajalibu kuomba mungu. Akera gai jehereria muigua yo. Akamuambia mungu ni yondole hiyo. Gai akerega. Na mungu akakata. Akemuera olo do kuma. Akamuambia hii haitoki. But I'll give you grace. Amen. Lakini itakupea neema. 
to pacifia. Amen. That is the grace I want to be released today. Sasa hiyo ndio neema yenye nataka. The grace of staying with a drunkard husband or a drunkard wife. Neema ya kukaa na mzee anayekunywa. The grace of staying with a cheating husband or a cheating wife. Neema ya kukaa na bibi anakudanganya ama mzee anakudanganya. The grace of staying with disobedient children. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. The grace of staying with that child who is sick. Neema ya kukaa na huyo mtoto aliyemgonjwa. Yes. Now I'm rejoicing not because you are Grief, let repentance for you are grieved as God will, so that you did experience any law. Huh? Tolio Hamwe. Second Corinthians uh, 7. Second Corinthians. You are grieved, but because you grieve, led to repentance for you are grieved as God will. I want to hear um, Second Corinthians. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter what now? Please check for me where, where uh, Paul was complaining about a thorn. Uh -huh. Verse 10 in a hapo juu inasema aje 8. Okay, ni chapter ita si japea na sawa. Second Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7. Huh? Chapter 12 verse 7. Okay. Check for me. And uh, good, thank you, my sister. Especially because of the extraordinary revelation. Therefore, so that I would not exalt myself, I thought if the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to torment me, so I would not exalt myself. Amen. You read after that. He had. Paul had was anointed. Amen. He had extraordinary revelation. Hema udo maigie gaya mweka ya tole ya tole ya gule liyo woko. Kuna mambo mengi mungu alikuwa anamuonye, anamfanyia kama vinyo tunafunulua siku ya leo. No nengeza dake gane. Nandiyo hili asijia kajisifu. Na dake gade. Asijia kajisifu. Hemu iwe weke lilo dhine wake. Kuna muima iliwe kwa ndani yake. Na mandeko mwake yake hoya kama itama tato. Na mandeko anasema akaomba kama malatato. You see the Bible is saying a messenger of Satan. Kwa wane messenger wa agoma. Amen. Amen. Mwa dhani ya rogo so Na kihoya maita matato Na kaomba malatatu Na dahi geirio Na haku jibia Kaya kebuera The grace of God is enough for you Aka mwambia na yama ya mungu I reach that grace to you Amen Is that issue you have Amen I reach the grace of God Anashiria na yama ya mungu That you will persevere Atia kwamba utashiria That you will continue Despite of the disease, Amen. despite of the problem, Amen. let there be sufficient grace for you Amen. to continue serving God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm waiting at the grace of God. Amen. Just know from today, when you plant in the good soil, when you plant in a good soil, and you plant a good soil, now, Upande I mean, you mzuri. plant a good seed. Upe, upande begu mzuri. Don't be cheated. Amen. Usiju kandanganyo. You will harvest exactly what you sow. Lazima utavuna yenye ulipanda. That is Luke 8 verse 8. Yone mutakatifu Luke 8 verse 8. Galatians 6 verse 6 to 9. Wagalatia 6 kutuanzia 6. Because you have been planting a good seed on this altar. Kwa sababu umekua ukipanda be umzuli katika imadabahu. I want to assure you. Nataka kuwa kishi. You have been planting in the good soil. Umekua ukipanda kwa mchanga ulio mwana. There is danger when you serve God in the wrong soil. Kuna hatali unapo mtumikia bwana. But you have been serving in such an altar where God is saying the spirit of God is already there. Lakini kama unatumikia bwana katika mahali anasema lo mtakatifu kwa pale. This is a fertile soil. Sasa hii ni mchanga ulio naona. Wait for God. Galatians 6, 6. It will answer you. My sister, you will harvest. Whatever you have been planted. Mahoya mariyo kore tuwoki hoi. 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 Kukuru faku wo kore tuwoki kuruma. Kutambea kwa magotu. Mahoya mariyo kore tuwoki hoi. 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 Mahoya mariyo kore
There is a time you have planted in the right soil. Kuna wakati kwa sababu unapanda katika mchango wa harvest. Lazima utavuna. And let me tell you. Acha nikwambie. Don't cry again. Usije ukalie tena. At the right time. Wakati ufao. He will purify. Amen. His own time. Amen. Kwa wakati wake. That is Ecclesiastes 3:10:11. Amen. Not your time. Sio wakati wako. Write it down. Ecclesiastes 3:10:11. Amen. At his own time. Ni wakati wake. He will purify. Amen. Gaine weka you tell the rashes it shall be well with you. Amen. Them. That's what God told me to tell you. Even if you shall be well with you. Itakuwa vyema kwenye. Kwa wale matale rashes it shall be bad with you. Amen. But to the rashes it shall be well with you. Amen. Mother ni arogo so. And in Luke 8 verse 22. Amen. 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 You be like Jesus. Mkuu kama Yesu. Even when storms and waves were there. Wakati kuna upepo na dhurumba. He knew who he is. Anajua yeye. He knew the power and authority he had. Anajua na nguvu na uwezo So he slept so well. Hivyo akalala vizuri. Even when the storms were there. Hata wakati mapepo zilipita. And the waves were there. Amen. He just slept. Yeye akalala. The disciples walked him. Lakini wanafunzi wake wakamwambia. And they told him you are perishing. Na anakwambia sisi tunaendelea. But Jesus tunangamia. was not in hurry. Lakini Yesu because he knew who he is and he knew he is he trust in who so in the midst of all those storms and waves relax hallelujah relax relax because you know who you are the power and authority you have we know your husband is cheating on you but that's not an issue so the mosene people are not going to we know you are going to be able to do it you are going to be able to do it you are going to be able to do it Next time she won't come to you again. You okay. relax. You Ule fight tulia. the storms and waves on your knees. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. We want to enter to the season of celebrating. Tunataka kuingia katika hali ya kusherekea. Amen. Amen. And my sister I prophesy to you we are not praying again for you. Amen. This is now those who are waves and storm. Amen. The Bible says mm. Hallelujah. Amen. When 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 they walk Jesus. Walipomwamsha Yesu. He stopped the storms and the waves. Akasimamisha zile upepo. That's the time they asked one another. Sasa hiyo ndio wakati wakajiulizana. And who is this stopping the waves and the storms? Wanakaulizana ni nani huyu anasimamisha upepo? So the waves had come so that they know who is Jesus is. Kwa hiyo wakati upepo umekuja ndio wakati. So the waves that you have been going through. Yes, no na umekuwa ukipitia. They were for pure gospel believers just to know who you are. Ni apiwa kujua ya kwamba And you are praying for the sick. Amen. That's why you went through all that. Amen. And that is the end of your Hallelujah. Amen. Wewe mdo ya toho yanao maji. Mamu dotike wewe na ndio uri aguguthi. I'm saying is red. Amen. And he has sent us to the season of celebration. Na tumeingia katika wakati wa celebration. And so even if any attack come you say I'm in my celebration season. Amen. Na ikikuja attack nyingine unasema niko katika hali ya kusherekea. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Acha Mungu abariki. And do you good. Na ufanyie mema. And enter in this season of celebration. Na muingie katika hii hali ya kusherekea. Kaya Mungu hegeke no kelia ni denake. Na Mungu awapee furaha yenye. The spirit of a relaxing. Roho ya kutulia. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The spirit the joy of the Lord. Amen. Na furaha ya Mungu. Is my strength. Amen. Ni nguvu yangu. Na tukasimama tu will come the servant of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Pigia mama Father we thank you for such a want such a time like this. We are relaxing in your on your feet my lord. Umetuambia mm. tukaweze kutulia bwana wetu. Shida ni mingi zinasifanya tusitulie. Mawimbi ni mengi na tufanya tusitulie. Lakini Bwana tunaomba utusaidie kutulia. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Macho yangu yetu itaangalia wewe Bwana. 
Kwa sababu ni wewe tutulie. Tumetulia sasa tumekugojea. Kuja ukaweza kutufanya makubwa. In Jesus name we pray and believe. Amen. Kidogo tuketi kidogo. Hallelujah. What a word. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Anda sadaka yako ndio niombe tumalize. Tukimalizana na sadaka tuko na mambo kadhaa tunataka kufanya. So package your offering. Package your tithe. And God will bless you. Tunapatia nanga kwa bahasha. Kila mtoto sasa awe lady student uh, and uh, pupils what awe lady. We are playing for them. So package in our envelope and God will bless you. Ooh. Tonight. Kwa mbundu Bwana tonight. Kwa mbu Ndu tukitulia hii babana Tuna Kuwa Bundu Bwana Tuna Kuwa Bundu Tukisema Wasta Hili Yewe Bwana Wasta ili, wasta ili yewe Bwana Wasta ili, wasta ili yewe Bwana Kupokea, kupokea Utuku Baby dunia wewe ambayo pesa zako ziko Mpesa unaandika 8 unaenda kulipa na Mpesa fungua simu yako enda kulipa na Mpesa enda kwa Paybill weka 80860 enda kwa account andika your name enda kwa amount weka ile pesa unaweka inakuitisa pin weka pin yako usiweke yangu tuma taenda kwa GT Bank Pia Gospel Believers Church. So ikiwa ni tithe, ta, tafadhali ya dika jina yako. Na uandike namba ya simu. Because we always keep records. And we like to get back to you. So tafadhali, watu wa tithe. Usitake, ustick to. Don't just stick. Tithe. Adika jina yako. He is giving ingine yoyote. E, Usitick. Kwa sababu ni other giving. Lakini ikiwa ni seed or thanksgiving. Indicate there. And God will bless you. Tumepata sisi wote. Baba tu, inyua mkono wako. Baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kupeana kwa siku ya leo. Yes. Ata katika mawimbi ya pesa tutakuwa still our father. Tutasimama ili utende kile unataka. Naombea yu mikono ambayo imeinuliwa. Hawa watu wako wamebalikiwa. Wapoke kutoka kwako banangu na mungu wangu. Ukafungue milango ya nadisha cha binguni kwa hali ambayo wametaithi. Wale wamepeana, ni begu wamepanda, wakapoke mara dharadhini, siti na mara miyamoja. Thank you because you are giving without knowledge. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Cast your seed with joy. Wasta hi liyewe Wana Wasta hi let us welcome prison worship team. Mm -hmm.
mapigie makofi i want to be a sacrifice amen ni mara yako ya kwanza kuingia mahali hapa as we go to prayer ujaingia hapa tena tuonyeshe kwa ishara ya mkono your first time first time god bless you god bless you wapigie makofi wapigie makofi amen kabla simameni nyinyi wote we appreciate you tusimame wageni wote sitaka mtakuja hapa bele simameni wageni wote apigie makofi amen wapigie makofi appreciate them appreciate them appreciate them appreciate them tunawapenda sana na tunawashukuru kwa vile mmekuja siku ya leo Uh, Spiwa Gospel Believers Church tunawakaribisha kwa chachi yetu we love you very much na kabla hamjaenda kuna watu hapa watatuma na salamu usiende uone hawa watu ambao wamesimama watawatuma na salamu and god will bless you appreciate our visitors eh hey, wapigie makofi mazuri mna zaketi hallelujah god bless you our visitors Today is salvation Sunday. Mina misa uso wako dakika moja. Yesu alikuja kuokoa. Umesikia ujumbe wa leo na hata kabla ulichotoka nyumbani ulikuwa umesema leo ni siku yangu ya kuokoka. Ujuani na Yesu. Humjui kama mwokozi. Leo ukikufa utaenda wapi? Labda ulikuwa umeokoka na umeanguka, umerudi nyuma. Today is the day of salvation. So iko uko pale na ungetaka kuokoka nataka uchukue mkono wako juu niombe na wewe. You are there na ungetaka kupokea Yesu. Jesus is calling you. Inua mkono wako kama ungetaka kuokoka. Kama ungetaka kupokea Yesu. He is calling you. Father we thank you for today. We believe is salvation Sunday. And you are saving souls my father. We are losing some people today to your kingdom our father and our lord. Thank you for you are doing it. In Jesus name we pray and believe. Amen. So nataka kuombea watu kabla sijaombea wa kuokoka lazima waokoke. Tuanze na watoto wetu. Na watoto wakuje mara mbili. Watoto wale wadogo wakuje tuwaombe. Okay. Kidogo kidogo as you prepare watoto wale wadogo and af- student and pupils waachwe nyuma tunashukuru kwa vile mmekuja siku ya leo may god bless you our members for this jaza church sunday god bless you then wiki hii ambayo inakuja ni wiki yetu ya maombi kwa sababu tuko na outreach gadhanje na tuko na outreach kule juu so we are praying from tomorrow kutoka kesho tunaomba na ni maombi ya kufunga full Niku, uh, nikusema hakuna kuonana na chakula unaweza kunywa kikombe cha chai is okay lakini usikunywe uji hakuna tofauti ya ugali na uji uji ni ugali ugali ni uji uji ni ugali ambayo iko imetweka so you cannot take whatever so i want us to pray from monday na kila siku tutakuwa tunakutana hapa 4 to 6 kila siku so ukimalizia huko unakuja ukimalizia huko unakuja 4 to 6. So tunaanza kesho, tunamaliza Friday. Friday tunaomba the whole day. Kama kawaida. Ama ni ile ya 6. Tunaomba from 11. Oh. Ah, uh, nisi wapereke ya 4. Uh, <laughs> so after Friday ni 4 to 6 with the whole communion. So akina nani wanaomba Monday? Chukua mkono ikiwa wewe ni wa Monday. God bless you. Tunachukua siku. God bless you. Tuesday Tuesday mudanya wa adoko Tuesday nani wanaomba Chukua mkono juu Tuesday Mimi niko siku zote so there is no problem Wednesday Nimebaki siku mbili Wednesday God bless you Thursday Utire mudura ya Friday let me tell you Friday wezi oba tu mja mpaka jioni tunafugua Friday jioni tunaelewana So Thursday ni akina nani God bless you. Alafu Friday tukuje tumalizi. 
si ndio tunafungua friday six after prayer so monday ni yake nani wamechukua hebu tuone tena god bless you god bless you tuesday manisoro aya wednesday god bless you thursday god bless you friday tunakuja kumalizia tuchukue mikono yote juu thank you tunaombea nini tunaitisha roho mtakatifu andamane nasi tukienda huko tunaombea masule umeona vile kuko kubaya tunaombea watoto wetu tunaombea nchi yetu we be guided on how we pray but mosso tunaombea roho za watu zikaweze kufunguliwa that is on on the, on our on our outreach so hivyo ni kusema that's there kuna fellowship that's there kuna fellowship when is the kuko na office eh hey. Hakuna ofisi sidio. Waja tufuge ofisi Wednesday. 